Hi everyone, welcome to part 3, the last of the Behind the Sofa series. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 4 easy steps for hanging your gallery wall. It's purely going to be about hanging it, so if you do want to see where I got the frames and how I made some of these art pieces, then don't forget to check out part 3. Two, which I'll link right here and if I'm able to add two links then I'll also link to part one which is all about this IKEA shelf that you see with the books on it I don't want to waste your time so let's jump straight in but before I do don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications to see more home decor and lifestyle videos from me with that said here is part three Once you have your frames finalized, which at this point we're assuming that you do, we're going to lay them out on the ground and play around with the layout. And we're going to take our sweet time for this step because we want to be super happy with our layout before adding any holes or tape marks to the wall. And if you don't know where to begin, then start with a focal piece and build around it. And as you're doing this, make sure that you are mix and matching orientation of your frames as well as balancing out the colors and different textures of your frames if you are working with different ones. Once your layout is good to go, you're going to trace each frame onto paper. And I used butcher paper that I got from my local Michaels, but if you don't have that laying around or if you don't want to get one, then you can use anything you may already have like wrapping paper, um, paper bags from your groceries, or even a newspaper if you do have that. And don't worry about wasting paper, you can definitely still reuse these in the future for gift wrapping. Just make sure that you're taking really good care of it as you're working on this project. And once you're done tracing out each frame, you're going to cut out each trace. Now we're going to paint, I mean tape, <laughs> each piece of paper onto the wall. It's easier to catch uh, mistakes this way before drilling any holes or adding any tape marks to the wall. So again, take your sweet time with this step because this is your absolute last chance to get it exactly the way you want it before hanging your frames. We ended up adjusting our papers uh, several times until we had it as high and centered as we wanted it. And when you're doing this, figure out how far apart you want the frames to be. Um, it is recommended to have them two to four inches apart so that your gallery wall as a whole looks like a focal piece instead of each frame looking very disconnected and dispersed. And lastly, we replaced each piece of paper with our artwork. So for the frames that came with nail hangers, what we did was measure the distance from the edge of the frame to the hanger to determine where on the piece of paper we need to mark and add the nail in. And then for the frames that didn't have nail hangers on them, instead of adding one in ourselves, we just went with command tape. They sell those that can carry up to 16 pounds, so this is a great alternative if you're not allowed to add in any holes on your walls. And we're finally done with our gallery wall. It's time to enjoy it. The days of hanging it, making artwork, choosing your frames are all over. And now you can sit back, relax, take in the new view of your gallery wall. Enjoy the view. I don't know what to say. <laughs> But anyways, you're done and that's what matters. That is it for today's video. If you have some tips from your own gallery wall experience, I would love to learn about them in the comments below. And I would also love to see your gallery wall. I said it in my last video. I feel like they are windows to people's style and personality and I love seeing how others do it. If you'd like to see parts one and two of this series, I'll make sure to add it all in the description box below. Before I go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications to see more home decor videos and lifestyle videos like this. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!